Hello boys and girls, this is a workshop exercise for ages 5 to 7. Please make sure before you begin this that you do have a responsible adult with you. And if you've got any family members that are waiting around, that are sat around, get them up, get them joining in with you. The more the merrier. Okay, so this exercise is called going to the zoo. So before we go to the zoo, we need to make sure that we have our bag. We're going to be there all day. Okay, so can you all get your bags, please? And can you pop them on your back? Okay, now it might be a bit heavy, your bag. Oh, how can you show us that your bag is really heavy? Oh, make it really heavy on your shoulders, boys and girls. Fantastic, well done, really, really good. Oh, you need to make sure that you've done up your coat. So you've got your bag on your back and you've got your coat on and make sure you zip it up. Maybe you make, might make a sound effect. Zip. Zip it all up so you're ready to go. Fantastic. Brilliant. And there's one more thing that you need to bring with you because you're going to be at the zoo all day. It's a really long, tiring day. So we need to make sure that we take our lunch boxes. So if you can pick up your lunch box as well. Your lunch box. Fantastic. And maybe share with your family that are with you, that are doing this warm up with you, what you have in your lunch box. I've got an apple, a sandwich, some crisps, a yogurt, and some raisins, and a drink of water as well. What have you got? Fantastic. Share it with everyone. Really good. Well done. Okay, so we're ready to go. We've got our bag on our back. Our coat zipped up and we've got our lunch box. Brilliant. Okay, so now I want to see you boys and girls walking to the zoo. Let's take a bit of a walk. Make sure if there are people doing it with you that you have got lots of space. We don't want any injuries. Brilliant. Okay, so we have come to our first animal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some clues as to what that animal might be. And I want you to tell me if you can guess what it is. And then I want you to act it out. Brilliant. Okay, so this first animal that we have come to, it has a really long neck and it likes to eat leaves. Any ideas? That's right, you've got it. It's a giraffe. Fantastic. Okay, so show me your best giraffe impressions. So really tall necks. Oh, let's see those really tall necks. Fantastic, really good. Really show us you munching those leaves. Maybe you can make a sound effect as well to go with it. Fantastic, really nice. Brilliant, really good. Okay, so we're gonna keep walking. Show me your walking. Brilliant, oh, we've come across another animal. Okay, now this animal is really, really cheeky. And it likes to eat bananas. Any ideas? You've got it. Yep, yeah, it's a monkey. Fantastic. Okay, so can you show me your best monkey impression? And I really would love some sound effects as well to go with it. So, <laughs> fantastic. Really good. Okay, one more time, everyone. Be a monkey with everyone in your family. Fantastic. Off you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Really good work. Really nice. Okay, so keep walking. Keep walking through that zoo. Well done. Okay, so we have come across our next animal. Okay, now this animal is green and it has really sharp really big teeth and it can be a bit snappy. Any ideas? That's right, you've got it. It's a crocodile. Now I want you to show me your snappiest crocodile ever. Okay, snap, 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 snap. Brilliant. Make sure everyone in your family is joining in as well. Let's see all those crocodiles. Snap, snap, snap. Brilliant, fantastic, really, really good work, everyone. Okay, so keep walking through that zoo. Keep walking. Maybe you're thinking about the animal that you like best in the zoo. Maybe you could share that with your family later on. 
Okay, so you come across another animal. I want everyone to have a look over there. Have a look in any direction you want. <gasps> have a look. <gasps> oh, now you really like this animal. It's really, really cute. And it's black and white. And it does a lot of waddling. Any ideas? That's it, fantastic, you've got it, it's a penguin. Okay, so can you show me your best waddling? Who can waddle the best like a penguin? And does anyone know what noise a penguin makes? Have a chat with your family. See if you can think of a noise that a penguin might make. Have you ever heard a penguin talk? Who has? Share your ideas. Really good. Okay, so we have one more animal that we need to find in our zoo. Okay, so keep walking. Really good. Okay, so we have come to our final animal. Now this animal is really fierce and it is a big cat. Any ideas? Brilliant, fantastic, yep, yeah, you've got it. It's a lion. I want you to show me your best lion impression with really good sound effects. Okay, so three, two, one, show me your best lion. Rawr, rawr. Brilliant, well done everyone, that is fantastic. Okay, so now what I want you to do, like I said earlier, I want you to be thinking about what your favorite zoo animal is. Maybe it's one of the ones that we've done today, or maybe it's a different one. Have a think, and then I want you to come up with your own quiz for someone in your family. Get them to guess what your favorite animal is. And then I want everyone in your family, everyone that's doing this workshop with you to act it out. That's fantastic, well done everyone. Really good work today, fantastic. Thanks very much, thanks for watching.